Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so for today's video, I wanted to do like a celeb inspired makeup look. So I thought to myself like, hmm, what celebrity makeup look should I recreate? And I was just like, anyways. I was like, hmm, what celebrity makeup look should I recreate? And I was just like, Beyonce, Rihanna, because I wanted to do a woman of color first, because I can relate to like some of their um, makeup looks, like the skin tone and stuff like that. So I was trying to do a woman of color. So I was like, why not do Rihanna? Like so many of us love Rihanna. She came up with a makeup line and everything. So I was like, why not? So for today, I try to incorporate most of her products that I have because I have quite a few and I'm going to try to recreate one of her looks. So the makeup look I'm trying to recreate today is this sultry gold eye. I don't know if you guys can see that, but maybe it close. No, no. Anyways, I'll insert a picture. Um, she has this cute gold eye with a red lip. And I know she came out with one of her red lips um, and everybody loved that. I have a love-hate relationship with that lipstick. You guys will see later on. And yeah, so if you guys want to see how I create this look, then please keep on watching. But first, before you guys continue to watch, Please make sure you subscribe to my channel down below. I would really appreciate that and like this video. So without further ado, let's get right into everything. So I already prepped my face with my face primer and my eyeshadow primer and I also moisturized. It's a little cold here so I like doubled up on the moisturization if that's a thing. Um, I went in with this Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion, you guys know what this looks like. And I put on one layer and it wasn't enough so I put on a second layer. And then on top of that, I did the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer because in the picture, um, it doesn't look like she wanted too much glow to happen so she stayed matte. I, I don't even see a highlight on her. I think the only thing that really shimmer shimmered was her eyes. and. And eyeshadow primer, you guys all know, it's the Urban K eyeshadow primer potion. This is the original one. And now it's time to set my eyes. So I'm gonna go into this Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette. You guys know the brown shade. Brows are pretty fierce. And this look they're pretty skinny also I have skinny brows I have thick skinny brows if that makes sense and so I'm going to try to conceal them so I'm going to go into my concealer and just try to conceal all the extraness I have going on around my brows I haven't done them in such a long time so I make sure that I conceal them before I do my makeup just to like clean them up a little bit. So I'm going to go into this Instant Age Rewind Concealer by Maybelline and just carve it out a bit. Now that we look terribly funny, we can start on our eyeshadow. So she doesn't have a lot going on in her eyeshadow. She just had like a deep eye with like gold on it. You can't really see how far the gold goes on her eyes. Like you don't know if it's just like her lid, if it's a little bit more than her lid because she's known for like her glittery eye looks. Also like her matte skin like eye looks, if that makes sense. So I'm just gonna basically start with a transition shade. And then I'll go darker and darker. So I'm gonna go into this Morphe G 
James Charles palette and take this shade right here which is called I'm not sure um, I think it's called 10% off and I'm just gonna start putting that into my crease to not be too careful when putting this shade on because we are going to deepen the crease a little bit. So I'm going to go into No Beans which is this darker chocolatey brown color and start defining my crease a little bit. Then I'm going to go back into 10% off and continue to buff everything out. Okay, when that's done, this is like a pretty easy like makeup look. I already like what's going on so far. When that's done, I'm going to go into this Too Faced Glitter Glue and just set a thin layer on my lids just because we want like that gold to like pop when that's done we're gonna start putting our lid shade down and this is ColourPop's Fluffy. It's one of their super shock shadows. Mine, like, it's broken. Just have to, like, mix it a little bit. Anyways, yeah. So I'm just gonna put this on up my lids. Just pack it onto my brush. And just put it on there. And if some gets a little bit into the crease, no worries. We're just gonna go back into our like blending brush and just blend it outwards. Now that that's done, I noticed that she has like a skinny wing liner. So I'm just gonna go in it to this Gat Von D Tattoo Liner in the shade Trooper Black and just try because my wing liner always comes out like thick I'm gonna just try to like have small liner this time so I need total concentration I mean, they don't look like sisters. I mean, they don't look like twins, but they look like sisters. I know that's like a an eyebrow like saying, but whatever. Um. Next, I noticed that she she doesn't look like she has false lashes on. I bet you she has false lashes on, but you can also get away with like using two mascaras and just layering it up. So I'm gonna use this NARS Climax mascara and this Tarte Man Eater mascara, combine the two, and I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna get the exact same look that she has in that picture. So now that I've done that, I'm going to go into foundation and this isn't a surprise, I'm using the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation. This looks like skin, it will give me that Rihanna effect, you guys, you guys will see. So I'm just going to take like three pumps on the back of my hand and it just 
go at it. I feel like I'm almost out of this. I'm just gonna... So now that we have like our first like base down, I'm gonna go on into concealer. Now that I noticed that she doesn't have a lot of highlight on her face, so I'm just gonna conceal like my dark under eyes with the Sephora Collections Bright Future Gel Serum Concealer. Uh, I'm just gonna conceal a little bit and then highlight. A little tiny bit you guys will see what I'm talking about so when I'm finished with just blending everything in I'm gonna go back into this Maybelline instant a rewind concealer and I'm just gonna lightly just start highlighting the face so I'm just gonna no turning back now. Just gonna lightly just place my concealer down. But make sure you don't go overboard if you're trying to recreate this look because there's no coming back from that. So I'm just gonna take a sponge so I can soak up some of the product and just give us like this nice natural like highlighted effect. And I literally put whatever was left, like whatever product was left on my sponge on the bridge of my nose just to like keep like the natural effect going. So I'm going to set my entire face with this RCMA No Color Powder. I'm just going to make sure all over my face gets it because she is super matte in the picture. So now that we have like our base done and set, I'm gonna go in it to the Super Shock Shadow again and like start filling in like the inner corner. Because notice that she has like inner corner highlight, so I'm just gonna really pack that on. And like it's like super super bright, so and it also leaves her down her waterline a bit so I'm just gonna do that also wow our inner corner looks so bright so now that that's Done. I'm gonna go back into mascara, but this time I'm putting it on my lower lashes. So I'm gonna take the Man Eater mascara. Where did it go? Oh, I was staring right at it. I'm taking the Man Eater mascara and I'm just gonna coat the bottom lashes once. Yeah, she's very bronzed and she has like a peachy blush on so I'm gonna start carving out my cheekbones a bit but it looks like she has more bronzer than that contour so I'm gonna try to incorporate that today I'm gonna take my NYX cheek contour dual palette and I'm just gonna start you know 
rising it up, if I should say. I feel like I put a little bit too much on, so I'm gonna take the sponge that I put in my foundation and blend it on my concealer with and just try to like soften it a bit. And then after that, I'm gonna go into my Mega Glow Contour Palette and take my banana powder and then just sharpen it up a bit. Next, I'm gonna go into blush. I'm taking this e.l.f. blush palette and it's this peachy one that I'm gonna go into. And I'm just gonna pack that on. Cause she has like a really peachy, bronzy blush on. So I'm just gonna like let those two collide and just blend, blend, blend. Now that we have that down, I'm gonna go into to highlight, but today I'm gonna go into like a really like a subtly highlighting shade. It's the e.l.f. Shimmering Highlighting Powder and this is in Bronzed Glow. Looks like this. I kind of hit pad on it. I don't know if you guys can see, but yeah, I'm excited to like play with this product a little bit more. I know I started playing with it like earlier on in the year and then I totally forgot about it because I was using other things. But I'm excited to get back into this product because I remember how good it was to me. So I'm just going to place a little bit on my chin so on my forehead because in the picture she has like a really 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 strong like well not really strong but like subtly strong if that makes sense um glow on her forehead and I'm just gonna take a little bit of this and just on my cheekbones not too much And I'm not sure if she has like a nose highlight. Let's check. Yeah, she does. So she has like a button nose type thing. So we're just gonna button nose it. And also the bridge. Kind of like how this is turning out. Like it's so cute. I feel like this look can be very wearable. Um, but it's just not like the waterline. The waterline kind of like amps it up a bit. But like the blush and like the bronzer just like comes together. So we're gonna do lipstick now. And the lipstick that I chose to use today is her Stena Lip Paint. And this is in the shade Uncensored. Now I have a love-hate relationship with this lip product because it's very transferable you can just like graze your lips i know like that's very unlikely but like let's say it's my finger graze my lips and then it just like transfers on your hand it's very obnoxious to like um take off so i just like stay away from this product but let's see if i'll start to love it even more by using it in this tutorial already I, I feel the need to like fix it but, like it kind of looks pretty bad let's just see if I can fix it like yeah it's very pigmented but once it dries it just like it stays in place but also it's very transferable so like let's say like I just wipe my hands over my lips it just it will transfer and it'll make like like 
it'll it'll show that it transferred on my lips and I don't like that. I want it to just stay in place. Even if I touch it, I want it to be very stubborn and just stay on my face, you know? But last but not least, I'm gonna go on to this Skindinavia, the makeup finishing spray. This is the bridal one and just set my face. Thank you guys all for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel. It will really help me out. If you guys enjoy looks like these, then comment down below what celebrity you guys want me to do next. Like it if you made it through this video and you, if you like how this look came out. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.